So today is Christmas Day and I just want to wish you a super Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. I hope you are having a fabulous day. I know I am. It's so nice to be around my family. Here in Australia, we celebrate Christmas in summer and it is seriously the hottest day ever. Hence why I look like a complete hot mess. Like you have no idea. It is unbelievable today but it has been an amazing day besides all of the heat so of course in today's video I am doing the classic what I got for Christmas I have mentioned before that my family's not huge on giving gifts for Christmas and birthdays we usually give like one or two little things and then I like to use Christmas and my birthday as an excuse to go and buy myself a bunch of stuff without feeling guilty so today is kind of like half a gift haul, half of just stuff that I bought myself haul. So if you do enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any videos. And let's go ahead and get started. So the first little gift I have is this adorable little little affirmations, wise cat, 24 clever quotations for the perfect life. My nan got me this, she knows me so well. So it's one of those little desk stands that have all the different cards and then they all say something positive and you can just change them out each day to kind of get yourself into the right frame of mind. The first one is this adorable little picture of two kittens like tackling each other and it says the principal business of life is to enjoy it. There's another one here that says everyone smiles in the same language with a cat that's like crazy smiling. It's so so cute and I love it because I love anything that's like desk related but I also love anything that is super positive and I love quotes that I can read because I feel like every time I read a positive quote it just kind of gives me a little bit of a pick me up so I love this. The next thing that my nan got me is something that's very very interesting and it comes in this beautiful like emerald green velvet box and it is a Christmas tree ornament. But there's a little bit of a story that goes with this Christmas tree ornament. I'm trying to get it out of the box and failing terribly. Um, this is what it looks like here. So basically, these are handmade and they take about two days to make, which is crazy. And so this one is a, it's like blown glass. So you know where they heat up glass and then they blow it. So they do that and then with a series of paintbrushes that all are kind of like bent and they're kind of like a hook shape. And through a tiny hole at the top, they paint the entire design of the Christmas decoration from the inside of the glass, which it's really, really weird. So it's just completely this beautiful glass on the outside, but you can see this amazing design in it, but you can't feel the design or you can't, do you know what I mean? Because it's drawn on from the inside, which I think is amazing. And the fact that it takes two days to create one of these means it's going into my super, super special Christmas ornament collection. And this is something that I'm pretty much just gonna keep forever. So the next really fun thing that I got from my mom is a series of towels because I really wanted to get new towels for my bathroom, but I also got some for my kitchen as well. So I have these really adorable Morgan and Finch Christmas shimmer like uh, hand towels. They both have like embroidered silver stars on them and I just love silver at the moment. There's also a little bit of gray stitching down here because I love gray, you guys know I love gray. And I just thought these were really cute. I think that we got these from a store called it might have been bed, bath, and table, to be to be honest, actually. And then I also got some like actual just grey hand towels for my bathroom. Like this stuff just makes me so excited. So I am very, very particular with my colour of grey as well. So it took me a very long time to find these. And so I like a grey that's kind of a cool tone, but it can't be too dark, but it can't be too light. So yeah, I'm very, very fussy with my grey. So I'm, I'm very happy that I've got these ones because these are perfect. And then I also got um, a couple of bath towels. I didn't get the bath sheets because they're so massive and I don't really like them. I quite prefer the smaller towels. So I got two of them, one for body, one for hair. And these ones are bamboo, again, Morgan and Finch home collection. And I don't know, natural cotton and bamboo bath towels. I don't know, that's what the label looks like. But I love these towels and they're so soft and I can't wait to take them home and like put them in my bathroom and have everything match. I think it's gonna be amazing. So my mom also spoiled me with some new headphones and these are pretty cool because they're like black and rose gold. I really like the idea of like a little bit of rose gold accent but I also like black electronics and it's a bit different to people liking super white electronics but I don't know, right now I'm just kind of into like black electronics. So they come with this amazing little case that has um, a zipper as well and they fold up and this is them here these are pumped they're by the brand blue ant and I got them from boom which is like a um, phone type of store it's like a phone casey type store there's a few stores around Melbourne they're adjustable as well and I just really like them I think they're really cool they've got all the buttons on the side but also I have an iPhone 7 plus which means you can't connect regular headphones to it 
So I think it's time to move into the Bluetooth headphones. So I got these ones and I'm so excited. I just quickly saw something else that my nan got me. She got me a fridge magnet that says, this is to thank you for being so nice, helping out, giving of yourself, sharing your time, making the days brighter, making the load lighter, all the little things you do and all the big smiles you bring. Thank you for being so special and thank you for everything. So it's a nice little fridge magnet I can go home and put on my fridge. So when I was out shopping for myself, I'm still missing a bunch of stuff because I couldn't get it at the time that I wanted to get it. I wanted to get some new shoes and I also wanted to get um, some new pajamas, but couldn't get them at the time. So that's probably something that I'll get when I get back to Melbourne. But I popped into Bardo the other day and they have these fabulous just kind of like tight long dresses like I love dresses that have really long skirts there's a little bit of a slit at the black as well I could probably show you a lot better with the gray rather than the black but I bought two because um, I think they're supposed to be $60 but they're kind of on sale for $50 um, and I just really like them they're just so basic but the material is so thick and that's what I like in a tight dress I like very very thick fabric so this kind of shows it a little bit better it's just super basic and it is fitted the whole way down and it has a long skirt and then a slit at the back of the skirt, which is what I love. And I love that I can wear this really casual during the day, but then I can also completely dress it up with heels and wear it out at nighttime. So that's why I got two, especially in the black, like gray for every day, but black for going out at nighttime. So the next thing that I got myself was a little bit of a splurge and that is a Kate Spade phone case. I think this is so cute. Again, this is from Boom, the um, Dr. Boom, the little, what do you call it? Phone case store, hence why it's a phone case but it is a clear plastic one that has this really cute little pattern of kind of like, I call it confetti dots, um, and they're all pastel colors. There's actually a navy blue, a red, pastel pink, pastel blue, and then there's also a like shiny gold color. So this is the phone case, and I think it's so cute, and I can't wait to put it on my phone. I've been waiting for days, and now that it's Christmas Day, I can finally put it on my phone. I freaking love it. And the last two things that I have to share with you are some things that I purchased from Kiki K. Like, what else is new? Of course, I went to Kiki K. So the first thing I got is one of these sticker books. Um, I don't know what this collection is called, but it's the pink collection in their store, and I love it. I have been eyeing it off for so long, and that entire collection actually has 20% off at the moment, although going into Boxing Day tomorrow, might be more off, I don't know. But it's just um, a book that is filled with all of these beautiful stickers that have a lot of um, gold foil on them and they're just really cute stickers that I can use to, in my diary and in my notebooks. And then they also have a couple of like sticker to and from tags for birthday presents. And then they also have an actual couple of like birthday present swing tags at the back. It's just kind of one of those practical books that I can use for a whole bunch of different things, but also get to be really creative and it's super pretty. So I decided to get that one. And then to go along with it, I have purchased myself one of their leather notebooks. So I'm actually going to get the black one as well because I love notebooks. I have a stack of them and the black one is just so sleek and classy, but because it's Christmas, I wanted to treat myself to this color that is like a super pastel baby pink with a little bit of um, gold uh, foil dots across the spine and it just has a clasp and then inside it's just basic like notes. You can put your date up the top and the subject and it's in the cute little pink book that's from like that pink collection. And these books, you just replace them. So I love these and I know it's crazy to have two, but I get so sick of one that I can like take one out and be all like wearing the black one for a while. And then when I get sick of it, I can switch it out and take the pink one out. Crazy, I know, but I love my stationery. I love my diaries and I love all of this sort of scrapbooky stuff. So that's how I got a couple of these for myself as well. And that is my current Christmas haul that I got today. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any videos. Up the top here, I'll leave a link to another video. Down the bottom, I will leave a link to hmm, another haul of my video if you'd like to see some other things that I've purchased. And I would love to know how your Christmas day has been. And I really hope it's been fabulous. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.